What's up, guys? Um, Willie Vitt here. Today, we're going to be playing UFC. Um, a great game. I know that this isn't quite UFC 4, but, well, you know what? We can cope with UFC 3. It's not that bad, really. How to win. Um, although, you know, don't follow this tutorial with too much confidence, because if you do, you might just lose. Touch gloves if your opponent's up for that. No. So when you want to keep that low guard, that's what you want to do. Keep that low guard. Go for some body shots, all right? Uh, go for some body shots. Keep it, keep it low. Keep it low. Make your opponent gas out. Um, as you can see here, he's trying all sorts of stuff. You want to just get those body kicks in, because those body kicks are what is going to really win you the fight. As you can see here, this guy's... You know, he's throwing quite a lot. I'm going to try and get him with a cheeky little leg kick. Ah, oh, perfect. Leg kicks are amazing in this game. If you can take advantage of those, I know UFC 4 obviously is a more relevant game, but if you play, even in UFC 4, you know, those leg kicks, yeah, very good. All right, he's got me a nice uppercut there. You want to, you know, use some gas. Um, oh, that was, a good, that was a good flying knee, to be fair. But you, you want to you wanna see what's up. You want to holler. And you want to try and get him on the ground as quick as possible. As you can see, he's actually, he's actually responding quite well. Ted on the gas tank a little bit. As you can see, he's nearly halfway... Halfway gone. And that's not good, is it? I missed that. I'm such an idiot, but yeah. You know, you want to make sure that everything you throw is smart. You want to make sure that it, it conserves as much energy as possible because you never know what your opponent could do. Can he, can he punch? That's the question because what I've seen from him at the moment hasn't been very, very good. So, get up a cut from him. All right, come on. Let's get him on the ground. It's a 10-9 round at the moment, because I got him on the ground once, so let's try and... Might go for a sneaky kick. Oh, okay. The reason I'm punching is this guy's already... He's low on gas. So, you know, I could keep going for these leg shots, but at the end of the day, um, I reckon that I can get him on the ground just by doing this. Um, so, you know, I don't think there's any need to... Oh, he's not... That was... Okay, right. Okay, right, okay. We're in business here, boys. We are in business. So we just need to hang on. Um, because we... Yeah, I've, I've had a stinker here. Um, let's be honest. Okay, right. This guy clearly doesn't know what he's doing, but I'm underestimating him. Don't do that. See, I'm a hypocrite. I've gone against my advice. Here we go. Going into the second round. I'm feeling... I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little cheeky chaos. That's what I'm feeling. But guys, you know, you don't have to take my advice. I'm a novice at the end of the day. A great thing about the body uh, kicks is, you know, when you go for a body kick, you're, um, you know, normally your opponent guards the body just as an instinctive, instinctive thing, and you can get a cheeky little overhand right in. It's, it's, it's a perfect way to, to get... Um, I'm, I'm keeping this guy in at the moment. I, um, this guy does not know what, what day of the week it is. I don't know what he's having for breakfast today, but he's not, um, he's not feeling this at all. 